How we doing everyone? Back out here uh, with another product that uh, I think is going to be beneficial to a lot of you. Um, could be a good solution uh, going forward for a variety of different things. Um, and what that is, it's, yeah, you're going to have to forgive my setup here, but this is the SC600 Plus from Stonex. So this receiver you can see, a little smaller than my hand. Um, you look at the ports on this. We've got, it's actually can be utilized for heading. We've got two, it's a dual antenna, so we've got two COM ports, and we've got Wi Fi and uh, UHF, and then we have a 26 pin DB connector for hooking to a variety of different things. Um, so, what's unique and cool about this is this, uh, like I said, it's a, uh, it's a dual GPS antenna, but we've got the ability to do rx and tx so this currently i've got set up in a base configuration this is just a little sa65 antenna we've got some choke ring antennas and stuff that we can set up with this as well if you wanted to put it in like a coors configuration um, but i've got this set up right now as you can see it's just so i just got it ran down to a battery pack we've got this it's just a two pin connector um, but we got that going to alligator clips and so you could wire it into, you could put it into permanent power, you could put it into battery power, solar, however you want to do it. But I just threw this thing up here to show um, that we can use this as a semi-permanent base station and a configuration via radio. We could set it up and broadcast in radio and over a network. Um, like I said, could run that up to a choke ring or a guy could set this up on site. What's unique about this though is we could take this and it pairs with Q-Bay. Um, we can connect to it as a rover instead of, you know, instead of our traditional you know, 990, 980, 900, whatever we can connect to it via rover, and we'll see. It'll be we'll see the same thing in Cubay. Um, so we could load that into a machine, and uh, we've done that on a couple occasions. Just little mag mounts on here, and then it's all wireless to the data collector. So you get whatever size data collector you want, and you can mount that as a pretty simple solution. Um, so. Yeah, so right now I've got this set up as a base. It's broadcasting out to my rover. So my rover's set up and fixed. So, you know, you know, in most of these base pole instances, obviously this wouldn't be a good fit, but if we were to, uh, you know, if we had an office trailer or, you know, a building or, or something that we could set this up fixed on, or we've built a lot of different base poles that have storage and battery and charging, you know, directly on them. So. But yeah, unique little uh, package has also got, you can do, uh, you can put memory card in it for static and uh, SIM card, so you can do everything right on the unit. Um, but yeah, just a really cool little option. Don't quote me on the price. Uh, I can get you the pricing if you're interested, but I think the receiver itself is right around 5000 bucks. So, like I said, don't, don't make anyone quote, you know, that's that's just kind of a ballpark you know you got ex the accessories and stuff that go with it but in the grand scheme of things maybe a real flexible good receiver for somebody who's looking to do some stuff the the nice thing is we can interact with it through the QBay software but it also has you don't have to necessarily have the QBay software if you want to set this up in a network configuration it's got you can connect to it via web ui and uh that allow you to uh do all the configuration we need from a you know a port and network configuration so don't necessarily have to if you didn't want to invest in that you could throw this up as a you know as uhf you could run with topcon uh, like a tremble if you're running any 450 megahertz uhf type stuff or uh, if you want to set up in a network configuration as well so like i said this wouldn't be something i would recommend someone sets up every day i mean you very well could though it's not wildly difficult this antenna you're not really this is your Wi-Fi. You're not necessarily needing that. Uh, this you could go to. This is SMA, so you could go to a. You know, you could go to a mag mount style SMA connector instead of the. The whip antenna. You know what I mean? That that comes in the kit, but, you know, a lot of variety of different ways to set this up. And this is just your standard TNC connect TNC to TNC. This is some cables that we build here. Um, but yeah pretty simple like i said the power as well like i said i'm just running off these if you don't have one of these little laptop charging battery packs you're missing out and they're pretty handy um 
but yeah i've never used i haven't really played around with the heading application to see what that could do i kind of want to put that on a skid steer and see if i could do something unique there but uh yeah maybe this winter we'll mess around with it but yep as always leave comments shoot me a message if you got some questions but uh yeah just a really cool product that i haven't had a lot of time to play around with. we're going to set it up in some uh in some coolers configurations and start testing and, and i've done some quick ones at the house um but we're going to set up a semi-permanent one here hopefully in the next few weeks and start doing some uh, kind of long-term quality checks and testing and stuff so see if that'd be a good solution for some customers and uh i think because i think the way the industry is going you know especially as we're we're seeing stuff's getting saturated and so uhf's a little bit harder um, just because there's more people out there running it so we got people walking on each other periodically and just limitations with radio um, so you know our biggest limitation in, in here in the midwest is our our cellular infrastructure is not as strong as as other places so i think the ability to have radio combined with um with a cellular network could be a good combination to make sure that you got everything you need and we start improving compatibility amongst uh manufacturers with you know utilizing uhf as well as um you know going to network obviously we eliminate all that because we're just using an ip address um i have not tried to we did in the past we've hooked similar receivers up to like an smb 900 for trimble and output trimble 900 corrections so i'm not i'm saying it's a possibility because you can pretty much make anything work but i haven't done it yet but i think that would be a neat configuration i'd like to see some of these bigger gc's go into we could slap one of these on a job site and set up you know we could set up 450 network and 900 megahertz and you're going to cover you know we don't have a lot of 915 top corner or Leica, so that would for us around here that would pretty well cover everyone then theoretically everyone on site could be running off the same corrections which would be pretty neat and eliminate some of the the confusion in the in the you know on the labor of setting up and managing a base station and dealing with batteries and yada 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 so that's the direction we see the industry going uh, we're trying to come up with solutions to help make that better uh, we don't have it all figured out but we're trying and uh, so if you guys got any comments or questions or want to you know school me on anything i'm always uh i'm always willing to listen so y'all have a good one